Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I've got a sewing vlog for you all this week. Um, I've actually been slacking on filming what I've been doing. It's uh, about two weeks after GeekedCon now. I've been working on some custom orders and then some other things that I'll share in just a minute. Um, I finished two pelican totes for a custom order for my friend Zach, and I already gave those to him without taking any video or showing them completed, um, so I don't have those to show, but I do have a show tomorrow, uh, the Bossier Night Market in Bossier City, Louisiana, and I'm trying so hard to get these purse pals finished. These are all done except for the um, little tab that goes over the card slots. And I've got those made. I just need to edge coat those. Um, and then I've got all of these that have a few coats on them. Um, these two just need the top coat and then they'll be done. And these need a few more of the base coat. Um, and then I've got three more left to do. Um, I've also been working on another custom order for a um, Beachcomber handbag by Needle and Anchor. And I modified this to have zippers instead of being a slip pocket on the back. So I need to finish that. And that customer also ordered a Catalina and a wristlet to go along with that. So I've been working on that. Um, this will all be in the next vlog, though, because I'm just going to finish these up and then take you along with me to my show tomorrow. But I uh, have also been focusing on other things as well. Um, the soap shop that I have my washcloths in from the town over is called Artisana Soaps. Um, she wanted some bags. And notepad covers to put in the shop too so I took her some of those um, and some bags to look at we decided on the posh makeup bag trio by needle and anchor and then also the banana hammock by sincerely gin patterns and I've been cutting out fabric for those um, but I uh, took a little break from custom orders and I had the um, templates to make the Triskel, Triskel wallet by Sonar. And I've been dying to make it, but I just did not have time before GeekedCon. So I took the time out and I made one. And I love it so much. I cannot wait to make more of these. I think it's going to go over well in the booth. And I also added a cute little wrist strap and pom-pom. But I love this so much. I want to make one for myself. And I did edge coat all of the sides on here. And I love it. And also, some news. Um, my friend and I are opening up a shop in my town. It's called the Beehive. And we're going to have all kinds of classes, art supplies, events like fun crafting events so I've been working on some patterns for classes and I'll show those uh, for fall we're going to offer a class on I just dropped it a class on this cute little candy corn plush this is not the colors it'll be in but um, and pro probably a little bit bigger than that but that's the gist of it. And then I also made a pattern for this adorable little ghost. I love it so much. And then the last thing. We'll have kits for this cute little pumpkin. So I've been working on writing up patterns for all three of these. And also we want to start doing quilting classes too and I thought like a quilt block a month so I went 
and cut this out and sewed it all together. This will probably be our first month's quilt block. My seams are not perfect, but it's okay. I like how it turned out. I love green. So that's what I've been working on for the shop and also a lot of other behind the scenes things. And then my great aunt needed a <laughs> baby blanket, so I've been working on that too. I, uh, spreading myself well thin here, but that's what we've been doing. And I haven't been filming any of it. So naughty. Um, but anyways, I am going to put all of this stuff away and then finish up these purse bells real quick. Alright, it is Saturday morning now, about 8 o'clock. I got up early and finished all of the purse pals. So we've got 15 ready to go. I'm about to tag these and get them put in their bin. And then I also need to organize some bins um, because they're all in a disarray from trying to get notepad covers to the soap shop um so i need to do that and then we're gonna pack up the van and head out all right and here we are on our way to Bossier city you can get to see some beautiful arkansas countryside through the dirty windshield <laughs> and here is my booth space we um unloaded the van got the tent up and then i started um, putting a few products out and then remembered I needed a film so this is what it's looking like so far and here it is all set up and ready to go we had a great time at this show this is one of my favorite shows um, we did well and I got to meet a lovely viewer Thelma it was so nice meeting you and talking about all of the different purse patterns so for my next show, which is SpaCon in Hot Springs in two weeks, I I think the only things I'm going to need to make are some notepad covers, the mini notepad covers, and some more coffin wallets. I sold three coffin wallets at this show, which kind of surprised me. I wasn't really expecting to sell um, that many here because I didn't even sell that many at geeked con but that's okay uh, so I'm going to make probably five more of the coffin wallets and then just as many notepad covers and many notepad covers as I can I still have all of these circle bags I didn't sell any of those this time and my little ponyo mav pack um, I might lower the prices on my tote bags because they are not moving and I feel like that's something that anybody could use so I probably will come down a few dollars on those all right and this is the end of this short little vlog I hope y'all enjoyed watching and I will see y'all on the next one